Astro's free theme is one of the most popular themes on the market today. It comes packed with features that would otherwise be paid for. It's simple to use and pairing it with WooCommerce is a no brainer. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to customize the shopping page. If you like the content that we provide, please like, share, and subscribe and check out our plugin. It will pair great with your Astro theme. So let's dive right in. To get started, we just have a blank install of WooCommerce. A tool that I like to use to test things out is a website called TasteWP. This will allow you two free installs. They'll last for two days. It is a perfect place to experiment and try out these plugins and themes without messing up your live site or if you just want to learn. To install the plugin, we just need to go to plugins. And we're going to add new. If you just type in woo and you should see it pop up right here, go ahead and hit install now. And it will install. Then hit activate. It should bring you back to the plugins as well as indicating that you have the plugin activated. It should also be highlighted down here and it should have deactivate next to it. Next thing we want to do is add the theme. We're going to go to appearances, add new. Astra is one of the most popular themes on the, the, the repo. So it should be here. And if you don't, you can search Astra and it will automatically come up. Hit install, same process as the plugin. Then activate. The next thing you're gonna have to do is add products. I'm not gonna do that in this video. So I just go to products and create product. And I'll put a card in the corner of a video of how to add a single product. I am just going to import some here real quick and then we'll get started. Now that we have some products, we'll actually be able to see the changes that we make. There's two ways to get to the editor. And that is over here to your left. You go to appearances and then customize. And this is the page you should be greeted with. Obviously your site title will match yours and everything. But first off, we're going to want to add a mini cart here. To do that, we'll go here to our left, a header builder. And these are the three rows of the header that um, Astra gives you. Go ahead and click this plus on the right hand side or wherever you like to put it and add it there. The next thing I want to do is change the site title logo to what I want it to be. Otter WP. Hit publish. Now that we have it looking more like an e-commerce shop, let's go ahead and start editing the shop page. To get back to the shop page, all I need to do is hit back, back, down to WooCommerce, category. This will change your category page and your shop page. This is what your shop page should look like, minus the icons. These are from my plugin, AutoDP Dynamic Shopping. It will add a wish list, compare, and quick view. One of the great things about Astra theme is that it gives you enough controls to build something that will look like your own, but at the same time, not overwhelm a beginner. This is a great place to start. The first control now is the container. So this is the container, all the information within it. They have two options, normal, which is set now, and then full width. Full width will make all the information take the full width of the screen, no matter how big it is. This might not be a great idea because this text will stay the same size, but this image is going to keep growing bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's going to start looking awkward at some point. Best thing to do is keep it on normal and it will keep it contained looking nice and neat. The next control is your container style. By default, it's unboxed. Now, if you click boxed, you'll see a nice little background with the border. So depending on what you want, you can have that. I'm just going to go back to unboxed. Now you can see here we're by default, no sidebar. If you have a sidebar, you can choose whether or not you want a left or a right. Now that's if you have a sidebar. And you can also do the, the box of the, the sidebar. Now you can see now we're looking at the shopping card layout. Design 2 has this little hover add to cart. And Design 1 will remove that. Now here's your your max amount of columns it's set at four and you go all the way up to six 
I bring you all the way down to one. Four is a pretty good sweet spot. But another thing you can do here is change it for responsive design. So this would be like a tablet view. And this would be your phone view. Phone view, I kind of like doing one. And that looks much better on a phone. So let's go ahead and go back to desktop. And the next thing is how many products per page you would like to show. So if you only have a few more products and you want to show them all, and get rid of the pagination, that's one way you can do it. Or if you want to keep it uniformed to however many products you have, that's up to you. Now the next thing is you can set a custom width. So that's this container here. You can change that to however much you want. We'll just use default. The next set of controls will control what you like to show on the shop page. You can show by categories. So we'll show just categories and then they can narrow it down from there. Or you can show both categories and products together or just products like default. And the same goes for your category page. You show subcategories, products categories, it works the same. After that, you have the default product sorting. As you can see, you can go through here and choose the one that you prefer or just leave it by default. And here's the really cool part is you can actually sort these cards and show and not show things that you want to. So rating, if you don't want to show rating, title, Category, you can even rearrange it. It'll look however you like. Title at the bottom. And that is pretty much it. You can add a short description if you like. Pretty cool and simple. Now, if you need more options than that, or as you grow and you want more features, you can always upgrade to their paid theme and give you a lot more settings and controls. But as you can see, it looks phenomenal without all that. Let's go ahead and publish. And that will save all the things we've changed. And we're gonna check it out in the front end. As you can see, it looks like an awesome shop that I would love to use, paired with Autodope's Dynamic Shopping. It'll give your customers something truly exciting to use and buy products from your store. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.